how engineers build on weak soil. Every great structure from a small house to a skyscraper starts with one thing, the ground beneath it. But what happens when that ground is too soft, too wet or too unstable to build on? From coastal cities to river valleys, engineers often face the challenge of weak soil, the kind that can't safely support heavy loads. So how do they make the impossible possible? Let's explore how engineers build strong foundations on weak soil. The problem, which is unstable ground. Weak soils include clay, peat, silt, or loose sand, materials that shift easily under pressure. When heavy structures are built on them, the ground can compress, sink, or even liquefy during earthquakes. Left untreated, that can lead to cracks in buildings, uneven sentiment, complete structural failure. That's why soil is always the first thing engineers test, even before the foundation design begins. Step 1. Soil investigation. Engineers start with a geotechnical survey. They drill boreholes, take soil samples, and measure moisture, density, and strength. Then they model how the ground will behave under real-world loads. If the soil isn't strong enough, the next question becomes, how can we improve it or work around it? Strengthening the soil. There are several smart ways engineers turn weak ground into a solid base. The first is soil compaction. Using heavy rollers or vibrating machines, engineers compress the soil to remove air and make it denser. This works for shallow foundations like roads or small buildings. Soil number two, soil stabilization. Chemical additives like lime, cement, or fly ash are mixed into clay or seed to make them stronger and less absorbent. It's like turning mud into concrete. Number three, preloading and vertical dams and vertical drains. For very soft soils, engineers add weight like sand piles on top to squeeze out water and compress the ground over time. Vertical drains speed up this process, letting water escape faster. Next, deep foundations. When the surface can't support the load, if the topsoil is too weak, engineers go deep, literally. Pipes, long slender columns made of concrete, steel, or timber are driven deep into the earth until they reach solid rock or firm soil. They transfer the weight of the structure down to stable layers. Some piles are even friction piles. They rely on the resistance between the pile surface and the surrounding soil to hold up the structure. We also have caissons for, for bridges or offshore platforms. Engineers build huge watertight shafts called caissons that are sunk into the ground and filled with concrete. Floating foundations. In some cases, engineers make buildings that float on the soil, spreading their weight over a large area so no part sinks too deep. Think of it like wearing snowshoes. You don't sink because your weight is evenly distributed. This method is used in areas like Tokyo, Amsterdam, and New Orleans, where soft soil is the norm, not the exception. Real world examples Burj Khalifa, Dubai, built on desert sand, supported by 192 deep piles, each extending 50 meters below ground. We also have the Milau Viaduct, France, anchored by deep foundations to resist wind and unstable slopes. We have Shanghai Tower in China, built on soft clay, stabilized with concrete piles and advanced soil treatment. In conclusion, weak soil doesn't mean weak engineering. It's a test of creativity, 
physics and problem solving by combining geotechnical science with innovative foundation systems. Engineers turn shifty ground into something solid, literally building strength where there was none. So next time you see a skyscraper, a bridge, or a coastal city, remember the real magic lies beneath your feet. Thank you very much for watching.